Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Zides Teaching Kitchen. Today, we're going to do a brief lesson on the kitchen dishwasher and how to load the dishwasher correctly. Not everybody has one in their home, but a lot of people do. And I've learned from experience working here with students in our kitchen that many people don't understand the proper way to load a dishwasher. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to lower the screen a bit so you can actually see the dishwasher. There you go. So usually after our meal, we clear the table, scrape food particles into our compost bin. And what I like to do is to put the dishes into a sink of warm water just to get any food particles off because although some dishwashers come with a built-in garburetor, which is a machine that collects the food bits and disposes of them right in the machine, many dishwashers like this one do not. So if you don't remove those food bits in your sink, they tend to clog up the internal workings of the machine. So that's how I start by rinsing the dishes off and then loading them um, either at the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. But an interesting thing, a lot of students who uh, work in the kitchen with me and I ask them to load the dishwasher, they'll take a bowl like this and they'll just lay it there. And um, of course, the water from the bottom that sprays up will just collect, the dirty water will collect in here. And so when the dishwasher is finished, you just have a bowl full of dirty water. So the idea is to place the bowl like this so that the spray jets underneath will connect with the inside of the bowl and wash it. This is the area too where you would put your glasses or cups to be washed. So, of course, we put the open side of the glass down, like so. And there's another one. And here's a mug that we can put right beside it. And a pot, a small pot, so I can put that on the top rack as well and place it again with the open side down. We have some more small cereal or soup bowls. There's, of course, little racks here that uh, are just perfect for standing the bowls up against. And that just ensures that the spray, the water spray, is going to get up inside the bowl. Another one. And now we can start on the lower rack, which is often where we put the large plates. Small plates, too. So here's a couple of large plates, one there and one there. And again, we have these little bracket areas where the plates fit nicely and just stand up so that the, the water spray under the detergent will cover them easily. And there's small plates here and one here. And we'll put the lid in here as well. Get a little right there. Get it washed. We have the, the cutlery or flatware. So there's a number of uh, containers that will hold your flatware. So I like to separate mine into forks, knives, spoons, etc. So I'm going to the forks in here. And I always put the knives with the blade side down. And I'll tell you why. Because once a long time ago, I was cleaning out the dishwasher and somebody had left the knife in the dishwasher with this blade side pointing up. And as I reached over to get a clean plate to put away, the knife stuck right into my arm. So it's, it's a, a safety precaution to put the blade side of the knife down. And here we have a couple of spoons with those in. And basically, that's it. Um, 
I did wash my hands as I always do when I come into the, uh, the teaching kitchen. And of course, soap and water for a good 20 seconds. But I didn't have to put anything on my head uh, because we weren't cooking and uh, there's no worry about hair falling into food or anything. So that wasn't necessary. Um, most kitchens have rubber gloves. So if you're more comfortable handling the dirty dishes with rubber gloves, then they aren't expensive to buy if you don't have them. And I know that most parents find it a huge help if um, everybody chips in and helps um, with the dishes after a meal. And this is a very simple, easy way to be a big help in your home kitchen. So that's about it. That's all you have to do. I mean, most dishwashers are designed in the same way. Um, this little box here, if you can see it, is where you would put your detergent. And uh, how they operate in terms of turning them on is all different. It's always different for, for each machine. So we won't cover that. But it's basically just how the dishes should be stacked in order to ensure that they come out clean making sure that the glasses and the cups face downward, any pots and or bowls face downward or stacked in such a way that the face of the bowl is, uh, or the opening of the bowl is facing downward. I'm just going to put my detergent in and turn it on. A dishwasher detergent comes in powder form or liquid form or these little capsules that we have right now. So I'm putting that in, turning it on, double checking to make sure everything that needs to go in there is in there, and it is. And just press the start button. There, it's done. So if you review this a couple of times and practice at home, even with clean dishes, it's uh, an important skill to have, knowing how to properly load your dishwasher so that when it's finished, you won't have to rewash the dishes. They will all come out clean. So enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for viewing. Bye for now.